During these times of pandemic, markets have taken some unexpected turns. The future seems unpredictable, so people are going for the precious metals to have some security. Ed Stair talked about the future of silver and how it can impact COMEX. Ed said that silver is the most shorted physical commodity on the COMEX futures market and it has been for the last 50 odd years except for palladium for a couple of months when it blew up to 2800 an ounce. About 150 days of world silver production is being held short by these four traders. It is absolutely off the charts now. Platinum is up there as well, its gold's up there. But after that, it falls off to next to nothing. So it's easy for anybody who is looking for a short squeeze possibility. The first thing that pops up is silver because it's the most shorted commodity on the planet. So everybody says, let's go get them. But the actual problem lies in the COMEX futures market. The short position in silver, like it is in the other precious metals, is held in the COMEX futures market. This short position of silver is astronomical compared to the short positions of just the regular commodities that are traded on the COMEX and the Reddit Wall Street crowd. When they came along, they tried to deal with this issue by going out and buying physical precious metals as much as they could afford and talk to as many people as they could about squeezing the shorts. Now the only way you can squeeze the shorts is by going into the COMEX futures market and doing that. Let's give them full marks for the fact that they went out there and between them and everybody else that piled on board in February and March around this GameStop issue when they were both materializing at the same time. Give them full marks for forgetting people out there to buy as much physical silver as they can. They are certainly having an impact on the market as far as the physical market is concerned. But as far as the short position that exists in the COMEX futures market, it doesn't make any difference at all. The price is controlled in the COMEX futures market despite the efforts of Reddit and the Wall Street silver crowd to drive prices higher. So that's the sole reason why prices reacted exactly as the way they did. At some point down the road, it certainly may affect the price. But right now, the price is controlled in the COMEX futures market and this Reddit crowd, they can just keep on buying as much physical silver as they can and hope it catches on elsewhere. The premiums have gone up sky high mainly because most retailers just can't get enough physical silver to meet demand. It doesn't matter where you go to, whether it be the Royal Canadian Mint or the US Mint or any of the other small private mints in the US. Everybody is in the same boat. They just cannot make retail product fast enough. And of course, with very little supply out there, that certainly bumped up the premiums and for a lot of products out there, especially things like us eagles here paying through the nose for it. So that's what happens when demand exceeds supply and it should in the wholesale market, but it doesn't because there's a big short position in the COMEX futures market. In the COMEX futures market, there's something called a price spread, differential between months and it's what is charged by anybody holding a COMEX futures contract that wants to switch from one month to another, from the current front month to future months like July or September or December. Those rates are set by the bullion banks. Eight now, the charge per ounce to move silver from let's say the current front month, which is May into July or September or December is like 2 or 3 or 4 percents and in gold it's like 2 dollars. Those are so cheap, it's unbelievable how cheap those rollover prices are. What the bullion banks are saying when they set those rates the way they are is they are just begging people to roll over their contracts out of the current front month and into future months so they don't take delivery. The wholesale market for both gold and silver bullion is just as tight as a drum and you can see it in these price spread differentials. This has been going on for many months now and it has not changed. So not only is the retail market tight, but the wholesale market is just as tight if not tighter, especially in silver. As for the wholesale market, whether they got lots of bars or not, but they are like every other Mint Royal Canada Mints and the US Mint is that. There's huge monstrous retail demand for the stuff 
and like every other men they have a production capacity for 1 ounce rounds and kilo bars and 10 ounce bars and 100 ounce bars and they can only turn them out a certain rate they just can't pump or production because it just doesn't work that way their assembly process their production process only works one way so they are just short as simple as that and whether they have enough physical like uh, 100000 ounce bars to provide the retail market that's a complete unknown nobody knows that for sure but the situation that the fourth mint is just like it is at every other mint they just don't have enough retail product if you take a look at the industrial use of silver there are very few industrial uses of silver that requires much more than a fraction of an ounce a tiny fraction of an ounce goes into their products whether it be an ipad or a desktop computer so it's like tiny fractions of an ounce some industrial user may use 1 or 2 or 3 ounces of silver in their application so it doesn't make a really big difference the overall price of the product on a car it might make a difference of 2 or 300 dollars on an iphone it might make a difference of 2 or 3 pennies it's not going to make a huge amount of difference but the fact of the matter is they need the silver one way or another they can't take anything else they have to use silver and they have to get it regarded so whether they are using a small amount of it or a larger amount of it and as far as the miners are concerned of course higher silver prices will drive their respective share prices to the moon and of course like everybody else out there that's got some skin in this game in the stocks of silver miners they are going to do exceedingly well as per ed it's just a matter of when this thing breaks wide open it's the industrial users that are going to break this thing wide open at some point when they become concerned about whether or not they are going to get a supply the retail purchasers certainly make an impact it's a smaller impact than the big industrial consumers if they start having trouble getting a hold of physical commodity and those are the 1000 ounce good delivery bars then there is going to be a real squeeze on the wholesale silver market and that will immediately show up in the comex futures and the pricing so guys this is the end of the video i would like to know your thoughts about all of this scenario in the comment section below also don't forget to press that like button subscribe to our channel i'll see you in my next beautiful video till then have a great day